Arsenal led the league for most days of the season, but eventually lost the title to Manchester City by five points. Now is the time to strengthen yourself this summer. Arteta and sporting director Edu keen to bolster multiple areas of their squad. We understand one of these areas is defense, with Real Vallejo lead fullback Ivan Fresnita mooted as a potential target. The talented young Spaniard has emerged as one of Europe's brightest young right backs, perfectly capable of inverting into midfield when his side are in possession, something that would suit Arsenal's play style down to a T. With that said, here's a look at the latest information on Fresnita's future with Valladolid, detailing everything we know so far. According to German outlet Bild, Arsenal have already made a lucrative offer for Fresnita ahead of the summer transfer window. The 18-year-old was heavily linked with a switch in January, but it didn't go through as the side now look to prepare for the future. It is also claimed that Bundesliga outfit Borussia Dortmund continued to monitor the teenager's situation. As per transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, Fresnito won't be leaving Valladolid in the winter window at least. Taking to Twitter, Romano said, Understand Ivan Fresnito will stay at Valladolid in January unless there are twists in the final hours. Arsenal and Borussia Dortmund wanted Spanish talented RB, but deal was never done. Fresnito now expected to stay and help Valladolid. Fresnito was captured reassuring Valladolid supporters that he would not be leaving the La Liga club this month. According to transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, Real Valladolid have requested 15 million euros, 13.25 million pounds, to let Fresnito leave in the next week. The Spanish club are said to be keen on loaning the youngster back for the rest of the season, something Arsenal aren't said to be willing to do. Arsenal are tracking a potential move for Ivan Fresnita before the end of the summer transfer window. The young fullback has impressed for his side so far and his ability to play in an inverted role, essentially joining the midfield line, fits Mikel Arteta's philosophy. Very well, in your opinion this player is at the level of Arsenal and Premier League? Be sure to write me your comments. I check them all. It was in the middle of the season that I lost Gabriel Jesus due to injury and many thought that Arsenal would have problems without Gabriel Jesus. But on the contrary, Arsenal appeared brilliant and took maximum points from the rivals. But in the final weeks, when we lost Saliba due to injury, Arsenal's defensive line showed its weakness and caused Arsenal to lose many points. This indicates that Arsenal should strengthen in the defensive line and make purchases, but contrary to what is currently clear, Arsenal may lose its defensive pieces. Arsenal are increasingly concerned by negotiations with William Saliba over a new contract and have been shocked by his demands, according to reports. The France international only has one year remaining on his current £40,000 a week deal and unlike with other players nearing the ends of their contracts, the Gunners do not have the option for an additional year. Arsenal have already wrapped up new contracts for the likes of Bukayo Saka and Aaron Ramsdale recently, but talks with Saliba are proving more troublesome. Now the Sun are reporting that Saliba's entourage have stunned Arsenal's hierarchy with their salary demands, and there's a growing fear that the centre-back may have to be sold this summer. Arsenal will not allow the 22-year-old to run down his contract and potentially leave on a free transfer, meaning this is their last opportunity to cash in if he does decide against renewing. Parties are said to be a long way off agreeing terms despite months of talks, with Arsenal so far offering the defender a £120,000 a week deal. But that is nowhere near what the Frenchman's representatives are demanding, and perhaps more crucially, what could be on offer at Paris Saint-Germain? Arsenal fear the Qatari-backed French champions can offer Saliba an enormous salary that they cannot match, with PSG prepared to do whatever it takes to lure him to the Parc des Princes. The lead one side are looking to bring a greater core of young French players to Paris over the coming windows and Saliba ticks every box. Arsenal are reportedly working overtime to resolve the situation with Saliba, who is now among the lowest paid players in the first team, and do not want to go into the new season with uncertainty surrounding him. PSG, meanwhile, would be hopeful of securing a cut price fee for Saliba if he informs Arsenal that he will not sign an extension, and the Gunners may even struggle to make back the £27 million they paid for the defender in 2019. Saliba enjoyed a superb season back at the Emirates after spending last season on loan at Marseille, though he has been sidelined with a back injury since March. Arsenal's form deteriorated while the centre-back was injured, picking up just 9 points from a possible 24 in the run-in, but the medical team are confident he will be back to full fitness in time for preseason.
Well, we will soon know where these negotiations will reach. Now Kieran Tierney's future at Arsenal remains uncertain as the summer approaches. The left-back saw a significant decrease in playing time following the arrival of Alexander Zinchenko last season, resulting in a diminished role throughout the campaign. This sharp decline is unexpected for a player who was regarded as one of the league's best in previous seasons. Despite Tierney offering stronger defensive capabilities, Mikel Arteta appears to favor Zinchenko, leading to speculation that Arsenal may part ways with the Scottish defender. Football Insider has been reporting on interest in Tierney from Newcastle United, and their latest update suggests that Arsenal is open to selling him. Kieran Tierney could quite realistically pack his bags and leave Arsenal this summer, and Gunners fans have already made their minds up that's exactly what is going to happen. That's due to a gesture from the former Celtic star at the end of the Premier League final day win over Wolves. Tierney came on a sub during the 5-0 victory and at the end of the game joined his teammates in a lap of honor to mark the end of the campaign. Campaign, but he appeared to lag back and soak up the applause giving a bit back in an emotional moment. He was greeted by chance of there's only one Kieran Tierney after a season in which he hasn't played nearly as much as he would have liked due to the signing of Alexander Zinchenko from Manchester City last summer. The 25-year-old is said to be open to finding a new home after four years in North London and Newcastle United have been named as frontrunners to capture him after qualifying for the Champions League, but Aston Villa have been linked recently too after their own European qualification, while looser links to the likes of Man City and Juventus have also come in the past. But fans reckon the emotional moment with the support yesterday spells the end for Tierney at their club. Tierney deserves to play and we all know this but it might not be advisable to lose him when we know we have several competitions to play next season. He is a superb backup and Nuno Tavares cannot fill the role he plays at the Emirates. However, we back the club to make the right decision on his future, knowing we need to have a strong squad to compete for silverware next season.